friends, it's your girl Duchess Charm and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. If this is the first time seeing my face or knowing of my existence, please feel free to stick around and click that subscribe button. Intro! Um, sorry guys that I've been missing for a week but I did put on my community tab why shit's been really heavy um in the world on the internet so i had to take a little break and to be honest i was feeling a bit um lazy or i was just not in the mood to sit and record um i usually am because recording does make me feel better but i was just feeling just lazy that's all like everything was just heavy and i just needed a break i don't know if the word is a tart lethargic i think i was feeling lethargic i know that you guys miss me so as per usual if your boyfriend texts you if your girlfriend texts you turn off your phone unless you're watching my video together then yeah them can text you because i offer time it's such as time <laughs> I don't know if you guys know like BuzzFeed and stuff like that on YouTube but you have this place called Cut, you have Jubilee, you have all of those and I find their videos really interesting so today I decided to watch a video with you guys so we're doing a reaction video. Um, the title of the video is We're in Love but we don't have sex. I don't know if it's a case where they're choosing to be celibate together or what it is. I can't understand because I've been with persons that I, you know, like, but I don't find them sexually attractive. So I don't know if that's the case or whatever. We're going to jump right in and we're going to find out. By the way, I'm not naked. I'm wearing a tube top. Let me bring it up. You know what? Let me go and put on a jacket. I don't know if this clashes with my um makeup or with my scarf or if everything got together but it matches my cup so that's a plus right i'll only be using one earphone because i decided to get a new piercing piercing number 13 um i don't know if you guys can see it it's like in my inner ear it's called the um date i think um if i say it wrong forgive me but yeah we're gonna jump right into the video and let's see what this mess is all about you ever thought about cheating on me i have not though i have had an ex-boyfriend contact me and try and get me to what i told you that before well, that's a fun thing to learn just now true third true oh they're celibate okay i'm paul I'm Brian. I'm Parisa. I'm Troy. How long have you guys been together? Uh, just over a year and a half. Almost six years now. Seven years? No. Wait, if they have been together for six years, but wait, remember Lisa Moore, so I can't hear them story, but six years? Maybe they've recently decided to be celebrate, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Eight. Okay, eight years. It just turned eight. And is there anything unconventional about your relationship? I'm asexual, so we don't have sex together, and we're mo uh, we're non-monogamous. Yeah. yeah. We'll wait until yeah. marriage. Oh, I'm I'm polyamorous as well. Like I believe in polygamy. Um, I believe that right now, at my age, I should be allowed to date and see other people. So by the time I'm 30 and with somebody, I'm not miserable because I missed out on certain dating experiences. We can talk more about that in another video. My, like, parents have kind of, like, instilled that into me. I want to, like, make sure I can trust the person I'm with and that, like, he's with me, like, for me. Even if the topic comes up, she gets a little, like, nervous. We used to have sex in high school, but then, I don't know, my body just decided that it didn't want to anymore. Ooh. I still want to have sex, but... <laughs> you want to take a shot right now before we start? Let's just take yeah, a shot, okay. yeah. Get started, woo! Would you like to take a shot right now? Uh, I'm fine for now. Do you I'm want? good now. Which one of us has a harder time not having sex? That's easy. <laughs> that's me. Yeah. That'd be me, probably. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> you. Yeah, yeah. 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 It bugged me about myself at first because I was like, what's wrong with me? I was worried that you would maybe not be interested in me anymore. But then I realized that you loved me and that was all that really mattered. Within the first minute of this, you can actually see the one that's um, more sexual than the other one. Oh, by the way, I can see these things like sexual chemistry and stuff like that. I'm really good with that. Um, in person, I've never really... Well, then again, over the um, video too. But anyways, you can see who 
is the driving force behind the celibacy in the relationship. What would it take for you to have sex with me before marriage? This is a good one. You'd have to go to my parents and ask their permission. Oh, imagine going to somebody's parents and being like, yo, can I have sex with your daughter? No, no, she, that was not a real answer. That was not a real answer. I'll ask that today. Oh my God. I don't even know. I don't know if they'd be like laugh or like angry. I have no idea. I think they'd say yes. No. Do you fantasize about me when you masturbate? If so, what am I doing in this fantasy? Taking a shot. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely masturbates to her. He definitely masturbates. Especially due to the fact that they used to have sex. Him taking a shot is um the answer to the question. Yes, I do, but I don't want to uh, oh, he said say yes. exactly. <laughs> Do you fantasize about me when you masturbate? I think this is a very straightforward question for me. <laughs> I don't. <gasps> Why oh not? Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> um, I'm a furry, so I'm not really attracted to humans. <laughs> oh! Okay, so he's a furry. So he a freak. Well, everybody's a freak, but he's a different kind of freak. I see you, boo. I'm gonna call him Shrimpy. Yes. So you, you imagine human-looking animals yes. while you're masturbating. Okay. What would you do if you caught me watching porn? I'd be excited. I don't masturbate. Oh my god. I don't believe my, that. You don't believe it? They are so not, not compatible with each other. They are so not compatible. And it, it's not even the sex thing. Well, then again, it is the sex thing because that's what we're talking about. But he's like... Mm, more into her sexually than she's into him. She's just like, oh, I, I don't masturbate. Like, girl, girl. I just don't know how you don't. I don't feel like turned on doing it to myself. I mean, it's different for girls. We don't have like anything to have like a boner with or Vibrators. something. So, like, no, I'm just saying Toys. like, there's no way to like physically prove our sex drive. Like, I don't know. How are you with somebody for a year and don't know that they don't masturbate? Yeah, this relationship is going uh, downhill fast. <laughs> Would you say you guys are each other's physical types? You feel pretty attracted to each other? That part of the relationship feels good? Yeah, like I'm attracted to her. I don't know if she can say the same. Um, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you look fine. Oh, oh look fine. Look she's not attracted to him. She's definitely not attracted to him the fact that she's gonna look at him and she's just like oh you look fine like that's that's not an answer that is not an answer she's not attracted to this guy ever but it's not about how i feel about you it's not about he feels that like way that. about it's that just, this is on me i guess what's the craziest thing you've ever done sexually with someone other than me yeah i'm gonna take a shot <laughs> <laughs> okay What's the craziest thing you've ever done sexually with someone other than me? <laughs> it was bondage stuff and I was blindfolded and I didn't really have control of what was going on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take some of this, is this okay? <clears throat> have you ever thought about leaving me because my sex drive is too low? Yes, yes you have. Not really. <laughs> he's, he's fucking it's lying, a, it's hard he's not, lying. Not yeah. doing it, um, but. I don't think that'd be worth uh, worth leaving you for. It's not like it's affecting us. It's not like an issue that comes up. Have you ever thought about cheating on me? Oh my God. I have not, though I have had an ex-boyfriend contact me and try and get me to. I've never told you that before. That's a fun thing to learn just now. But I immediately shot it down and deleted his number because that wasn't what I was about. Yes, girl. Have you ever girl. thought about cheating on me? No. You joke about it all the time. I do. I always joke about it with your friends. Any of his friends that are single, I'm like, you know, I could have him if I wanted. No. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, she's just with him because he's probably a nice guy because who the fuck jokes with their boyfriend's friends about cheating on their boyfriend? Sis, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> and how does that uh, make you feel? How do you like those jokes? I think... Uh, uh, I don't know. I think I can tolerate you. I don't know if they would. I think Ryan would. <laughs> you think you'd go a year and a half without sex? I don't think so. Which of my friends? That's what I want to know. Which of my friends are you trying to cheat with? I don't know. 
She doesn't have too many friends, so. Obviously. We did have a lot of issues early on in our relationship um, because we were trying to do the whole monogamous kind of thing. So he ended up cheating on me a lot. <laughs> that was kind of uh, a dick. <laughs> let's take another drink. Would you ever consider having an open relationship? If yes. I'm an advocate for open relationships. Um, I speak about this all the time on my Instagram, on my Instagram lives. I'm currently in an open relationship. Open relationships are bomb.com. But you can't be jealous. You can't be immature. You have to know about rules and boundaries. Like there's so much that comes with open relationships if you guys want a video on that you can comment down below and i will speak about my open relationships like my experiences and also advice because i do talk to people about their relationship and i speak to people about you know open relationships and stuff like that like i don't know people are always turning to me for sex advice and relationship advice i'm a guru maybe i need to go and get qualified it made you happy i'd probably consider it if you seriously asked me, I'd be like, no, you can go, like, we can break up and you can go have all the sex you want, but, um, yeah. Do you think we'll always be together? <laughs> yeah, I think at this point you're just waiting for a shiny ring. You're stuck with me. There's no going back. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we'll always be together? I think there's a high possibility because we're very open with communicating. Okay, but these two guys, what worries me about these two guys is they're polyamorous they're you know and um they're not having sex with each other like i don't know i would not be doing that i would not be like not having sex with my partner and be having sex with someone else like no and he doesn't even seem like he's attracted to him like why are you guys even together and we're understanding we allow each other our mistakes. Why do you love me? We actually both don't know. There's the, always the minor things, you know, like, of course, we find each other cute and things like cute. that. Cute. at the same time, it's just... Those are surface level, though. Yeah. Like, the real deep questions. Nope, I don't know why. I just love her. Why do you love me? <laughs> she hasn't said it yet. Um, a year and a half? Whoa. That's a great question. I love the way your mind works. I love how thoughtful you are. I love you. Love you too. You put up with all of my like sass and you're so reliable and I like I super appreciate that. Alright. <laughs> Did you learn anything during this game? Yeah, um, apparently your ex <laughs> texted you at the beginning of our relationship. Thanks so much for playing. Yes, bye. thank you. Bye. Thanks, bye. Bye, the truth or drink game now. Okay. Well that's finished. That was quick and easy. That video, you can see that that girl and that guy, like, um, the slim couple, I can see, I can call it, you know, with the tall guy and that girl. Literally, she's just with him because he's a nice guy. I don't see anything there. Like, she's probably just, like, you know, meh about the whole relationship. Maybe they really love each other and I'm just you know an outsider looking in because that's what this video is but she just seemed so mundane about everything and he was like more excited about her even the question when they're just like oh you seem to be each other's type you know and he, he's like yeah you're definitely my type and she's just sitting there like i mean you look good i'm like if that was my partner after that fucking truth or drink game i'm relationship finished done Pack up, hang up, bye. I think the first couple is like the only couple that seems like they can last. I believe that their love is really authentic, but who am I to judge someone else's love? Anyways, guys, that is it for my video. If you liked it, remember to like it and share it with your friends. If you have any comments, leave it down in the comment section below. My social media links are in my description box. And as per usual, remember to be a beautiful soul, not just a gorgeous face. And I will see you guys next time. Mwah. Bye. Fuck. Anyways, guys, that's it for my bit. Girl. Tongue ties.